Tim Lavelle told the men of Santa Rosa about the school partnership program, that money raised by students in the United States could be channeled through Peace Corps volunteers like himself to pay for the materials to build a school. But the possibility of a school also depended on the contribution of their labor. And so the decision to build a road, to build a school, couldn't be made by Tim Lavelle or even Don Chico, but must come from all the people of Santa Rosa. It's not a, a great thing, but it is a great thing. Because you've given the people the opportunity at last to do something that I think they've always wanted to do. And that is to live a little bit better. The, the love of, of one's children or the, the love of one's community something which really can't be put down. And it has been put down for such a long time in these places. So at last, here's Don Chico with an opportunity, and Don Camilo with an opportunity. And they're going to get out there and they're going to talk this thing up. And they're going to get people on their side. And so that when you go out there again, and you're talking about the weather, or you're talking about the problems out in the corn patch, they begin to say, well, what about this school? What can we do on this? I've got this idea. I have some trees out back that I can give for the making of uh, wooden rafters or for utilizing wood for the doors or pillars for the corridors or what have you. And so it begins. And so this meeting, in reality, is, is the culmination point. It's the fact that finally people thought this over, and they said, yes, we want to do that. The road, in, in the case of Santa Rosa, was something that made the school possible because you just couldn't haul the materials out to Santa Rosa if you didn't have the road. And the road to Santa Rosa opened up the road to a school in New York. With the money coming in from school partnership, we were ready to buy the floor tiles for the school. So we went into San Salvador and bought them. Now, since no one in Agua Caliente had any transportation, Don Chico contacted his friend in San Salvador, who had just purchased a new truck. Don Arturo said, sure, he'd help us. And so, quite early one morning, we loaded the tiles on the truck. Big truck, lots of tiles. About 18 kilometers, or roughly nine miles from Agua Caliente, the dirt road starts and it weaves its way in in snake-like fashion into Agua Caliente. But the road is passable. Okay, we got into Agua Caliente feeling pretty good. Okay. 
Starting out on the road to the school. And there we slowed down to a crawl, inch by inch. The road was built for ox carts, the road was built for jeeps, but the road certainly wasn't built for a 10-ton truck. And Don Arturo became more and more apprehensive. My God, my truck, <laughs> my 22,000 Cologne truck, will I ever see it ever again in San Salvador? The truck was enveloped by the people. Once you started on that road, there was no turning back. Just as once we started on the construction of that road, there was no turning back on the school or on all of these other things. So that once that truck actually started out there, there was no turning around. That truck was going to get through. It was going to get through because the people had a sense of urgency to get that truck through. Once you have the people on the move, they're not going to stop. And that's what happened in Santa Rosa, was a, an end and a beginning. A beginning not only of forward-lookingness on the part of the people there in Santa Rosa, but also the fact that other cantones, other rural areas, began to hear stories about what was happening in Santa Rosa. And I went to Don Chico and I said, uh, people in Ojo de Agua, and there's some people out in Agua Fria and a few other places, are asking me about this road. So, we'd like to build a road. I want to know what kind of a school do you build out there? My cousin went by the other day and he saw that school. He thought it was pretty nice, one of the finest things he's seen there in a long time. Those people out there in Santa Rosa, they're not very talented. How'd they build that school? So I told Don Chico about this, and the school partnership could also help the people to build the schools in Ojo de Agua and Agua Fria. So of course he was elated, because here was a chance not only to do something in Santa Rosa, but to go other places, to spread the word. We're doing things. 